Welcome to episode 18 of Lucy and Puck. Alright, they are sleeping through the night. Just after learning that um, Lucy is pregnant once again, and that James has grown to a child. So, today is his first day of school. So he's going to get up a little early and get ready since he's obviously very excited. He's going to use the bathroom here. Wait, what's that sound? Is he peeing on a xylophone? There's a xylophone in the toilet. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I didn't expect to see that. Alright, well, he's already helping out with the family chores, cleaning the toilet. Yeah. I imagine if a xylophone's stuck up there, it's probably uh, blocking a lot of other things from getting flushed. <laughs> so he's cleaned that out. And um, playing with his toys. And the school bus is here. So it's time for James to head off to school. It's his very first day. Uh, presumably he's starting kindergarten. So down he goes. And off to school. Hope for the start of a promising academic career. Oh look, unpaid bills. Alright, so he's off. Now um, it's time for Puck to get up, even though he doesn't have to go to work till later. He's done resting, and he thought he might um, call the repairman to fix something and uh, begin breakfast. Because after all, Lucy is pregnant and gets hungry very, very easily. If you all recall um, that one episode when she was pregnant with James, she almost starved because she went too long without eating. Well, we're going to make sure that never happens again. So while Lucy is waiting for the food to be ready, she's going to hit the hit the toilet and hit the shower. And now, looks like Puck has served up some pancakes. Mm mm mm. Pancakes are always good any time of the day. I firmly believe, especially with lots and lots of syrup and butter. Oh yes. And here comes Lucy to partake in the pancake eating. Don't worry, that green stuff is coming from the bottle on the floor, not from the pancake. So they talk about promotions, and they talk about babies. You know, the things that are most pertinent to their lives at this moment. So Puck's finished. He goes off to use the bathroom, and is going to unclog that toilet. Well, I hope there's no xylophones in that toilet. So, since Lucy's fun is so low, she decides to... Go and watch some TV. Yes, it's a very, very good thing to do. Not exactly sure what she's watching, but it doesn't matter as long as she's relaxing and reducing her stress. So now done unclogging the toilet, Puck is going to come and spend some time with his wife. Now that they are alone in the house for the first time in a while, well, apart from the maid, they're going to um, get it on a little bit, you know. Well, just kiss and cuddle and stuff, but still, kind of, I thought that would be kind of awkward if um, James pl was playing on the floor nearby. So they're just going to enjoy themselves, and Puck is showing his appreciation because, of course, being pregnant is a difficult time for Lucy, especially now that she has to watch over her um, son while um, being pregnant with the baby. Well, here comes James home from school. If you remember, all kids do start out with a C report card, so don't expect me to be jumping around too much yet. But don't worry, with some studying, he will be a straight-A student in no time. And furthermore, he's brought a friend home from school. I forget what his name is. Um, I'm just going to call him Bud for now. He looks kind of like a Bud, you know, from one of those 50 shows. So, James is going to play with Bud as Lucy pays the bills. Yes, I remember to do it that time. There was some guy who commented on like three videos in a row reminding me to pay the bills. So, 
I've paid them. Um, so James and Bud are going to get into a game of caps and rabbers outside while Puck prepares yet another meal, being the uh, culinary career track guy. Well, the phone's ringing and the ride is buzzing from outside, but Puck wants to finish his food first, and I don't blame him. Food's good. So, he rushes to get into his ride on time. Ah, poor Puck. So old and he's still riding around in a crap mobile. Well, hopefully promotion will happen soon. Alright, so Lucy is going to get on the phone and invite two very special people over. Yes, that's right. She's inviting over her parents. Because after all, they're pretty old. They don't have all that much time left. So she wants to spend as much time with them as she can. And she wants um, James to get to know them too. Now that he's a little bit older and he'll have concrete memories at this time. Well, and here they are. James is going to come out and greet his grandfather while Lucy talks to her mother inside. And we'll also say hello to that random guy who walked by. Why not? Don't think we know him yet. So, he talks to his grandfather about fun things. Well, oh look, it's Sir Ryan Lionheart. Well, not really, but I can say it is. Uh-oh. What's going on with Puck? Well, you're going to have to pause if you want to read this. But, um, it does not go well. And once again, Puck is demoted to fast food attendant. Jeez, I mean, this is like the third demotion that he's had. It's, it's really not been his week. Um, yeah. While Lucy has been, um, moving up in the ranks to become a city councilwoman, you know, despite having two pregnancies, Puck is still lounging around at the bottom of the food chain. It's kind of sad. But at least Puck can help James with his homework while um, Bud and Sir Ryan here play some chess together and Mike and Laura make out very noisily. Oh well, they've reached an advanced stage. I think they have earned the right. And James seems to be getting along with his grandfather very well, which is a wonderful thing because he'll be able to tell future generations of Sims about the memories of Mike and Laura Lincoln. So, Lucy says goodbye to um, her mother because Lucy will soon be going to bed. Being pregnant, she doesn't have that much energy. She's going to say goodbye to her dad as well. And is going to go up and use the bathroom before she goes to bed. Uh oh, what's this? Ah, oh, Lucy. Ah, oh, she passed out naked again. <laughs> yes, this happened to her when she was pregnant with James. It seems to be a pattern. And I believe she even lost a few aspiration points. Uh, but, oh well, at least she's heading to bed now, and we're going to have to keep a closer watch on her energy meter so this thing doesn't keep happening. Oh, poor Lucy. Alright, well, bedtime for you. Get a good night's sleep. Hopefully, the delivery of your new child will not be too far in the future. Meanwhile, father and son play some chess as Mike and Laura talk on the couch and Sir Ron enjoys some grub. But, uh, James realizes he doesn't have his homework done and since he wants to get good grades, he's going to get on that right away. So that's a good thing. Puck's going to clean up the kitchen a little bit. James is almost done, but he's tired, so he's going to head off to bed and finish it in the morning, because, you know, little kids get up early. And anyway, it's time to say goodnight to his grandmother. So she wishes him a great day at school while he goes off to bed. Of course, Laura, being the brainiac in the family, is going to be the one most hoping for James's success at school. Well, we're reaching the end of this day, so after Puck puts away the garbage, he says goodbye to his mother-in-law, to his father-in-law, and to Sir Ron, so, and he goes off to bed to join his wife. I think that guy's name is actually Dave or something, but oh well. Well, 
that just about brings us to the end of this episode. It hasn't been so great for Puck, but at least James, it seems everything is going well for him. And Lucy, hope she delivers her baby soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all very soon.